it's usually the, the key is it shouldn't be 10x the, the time that or or resources that you're putting in so there are two only two things you can really put in in marketing it's time and money and we can balance those you know with hiring people who might be putting in time but we put it in at a at a lower cost than if we were to do it ourselves or it might be you know the time of the person on the team but those are usually the only two real inputs and so going back to leverage we need to be able to get 10x the result without 10xing the inputs and, and so it, it's usually a comment about the the result whatever kpis we're going after um, sometimes it might involve doing 10 times the quantity it might actually involve doing more quantity going back to what i was saying about in order to 10x something you might actually have to dial back on something that you want to do um, that's going to mean that each individual component will not be quite as good as it could be um, and it's not a, a, I'm not talking about like, you know, the quality of the writing or something like that. I, I still believe that needs to be top notch. But for example, SEO, just, you know, harping on the same example, you're, it you, you could be better, but, uh, you know, it's just not scalable to do that. So you might actually have to write, um, you know, 10 times, the, more than 10 times a post, you might have to write 12 times the number of posts. But if you can find a way that does that, that achieves a lot of leverage so that we're only doubling the inputs, then that's a huge win. All right. Okay. Um, I've got, I've got a couple of questions I've got in mind here um, to go on from that. Um, now, if like, when, when are we asking ourselves this question? And I'm assuming it's like right at the beginning before we've even maybe started any work. Yeah. So I think ideally that's the case. I, I think the best marketers are hardwired to be thinking about leverage but I find that it's frequently not, um, not something that people are hardwired to do. So, um, and, and I do the same thing myself. I might get excited about, you know, chasing down an individual um, idea just to explore it and see what comes out of it without really having that 10 X or the, that leverage in mind when I, when I start. Um, but, but then you, you end up chasing something down sometimes that you find after the fact can't scale. And, and that, you know, yeah, there was a learning experience involved in that, which has some benefit, but otherwise it, it was kind of a waste of time. So I think ideally you have it in mind and you're using that as a filter to figure out what you should prioritize. And there's an unlimited number of things in marketing that you could be tackling, tackling on a daily basis. I mean, it, it's truly unlimited, right? And so one of the key sorting mechanisms should be scalability and, and how much leverage you can get. Okay, so yeah, millions of things or thousands of things we, we could be doing um, yep. to make this impact. What are the most common or most often, you know, things that need to be done that ends up resulting in, you know, a 10x result? Uh, it, it, so we could take um, paid advertising, for example. Um, we have ads that we have run for literally years without changing a single thing, which a lot of people will tell you is terrible. You need to be changing the creative. You need to be changing the target audience. You need to be changing, you know, you gotta be doing all these things. And it's not that we're not watching it. We are watching it and not all of them last that long. Not all of them are as evergreen. Um, but uh, the way I look at that is again, yeah, I'm sure we could be doing better if we, we're making smaller tweaks on a regular basis, but there's a huge amount of value in having put together this machine, have a, having figured out this paid ad, both from a creative standpoint, as well as from a channel standpoint, as well as from a targeting standpoint that you could set up and run for years that produces results without any input. It's hugely valuable because there's a, there's a cost to you know, your time as a marketer. And, and by having set that up, I can now go do something else that's gonna create value alongside. So it, where you tend to run in tr into trouble is when you have to, to make some significant changes due to some external factors. So if you're doing this right, you're sort of building up a highly leveraged model where with a relatively small team, you, you, you have a lot of activities that are going on. Uh, my company went through a rebrand last year 
And that's a good example of when you can sort of get yourself into trouble a little bit with these systems, these highly leveraged systems. That's a case where almost every single component of what the marketing team was doing had to change. All the creative had to change. Accounts had to change. IDs had to change. Campaigns had to be reset. And when that happens, you can, you can kind of put yourself into a little bit of a world of pain for a you know, temporary period of time because the team is not necessarily the size that it needs to be to change all of what you're doing you know, over a very short period of time. So um, we got through that fine, but, but a little more pain than, than you would have if you weren't as leveraged as we are.